Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here and today we're back with another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle for the new season of Pokemon Sword and Shield and I love how a lot of people are also suffering because of paralysis this uh, this season whether it be from Bounce or like from a regular Cinderace or regular Gyarados or just like Thunderwave from Porygons which is pretty funny but uh, yeah we have this team from my patron Spacey awesome dude and uh, it has some really cool mons like Assault Vest, Steel Roller, Copperaja but the cool thing is we have Psychic Terrain, uh, Terrain Extender and Didi with Expanding Force as well as Scarf Gardevoir to abuse that Expanding Force. We have Palisand which is something I actually haven't had the pleasure of using yet with Scorching Sand which is a 30% chance to burn our opponent and of course we have Urshifu a Pokemon that's taking on or you know taking the metagame by storm and then Rocky Helmet Bulky well, not really Bulky but Rocky Helmet Pivot Noivern uh, Palacin is there to help us check Cinderace, which is pretty cool because it's physically defensive and if you guys want to use a team There it is also if you guys haven't already subscribed and watched a few of my videos by now feel free to subscribe and I'll leave a polka paste I'll leave a polka paste down below the team too so that way you can see the team in a little bit more detail But yeah guys should be exciting and I'll pause until we find a battle. We'll be right back All right guys, so we found a battle immediately and we see uh, a psychic community and a psychic resist so I'm uh, gonna be a little bit scared right there but I think we definitely have to bring Palisan. Palisan can help me deal with Cinderace, can help me deal with Diggersby, can help me deal with Drapion, and uh, it's just good in general. Um, so I think that's going to be in the back. I'm also leaning towards Urshifu, and uh, hmm. So if our Kaparaja had Power Whip, I would bring that, but I don't think that's the case. What do I want to lead off with here? If I lead Urshifu, doesn't help too much. They have Clef, Quagsire, and Cinderace. But I think it's still good at just breaking late game. I do kind of like Ndidi just to kind of do as much damage as possible. But if they just Dynamax with their Cinderace, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think I'm leaning more towards Noivern um, with maybe Palisan. And actually, instead of Ursh uh, Urshifu, um, possibly Kaparaja in the back in the way of dealing with Clefable. That way I don't completely lose to Clefable with this team. Because I feel like Noivern, Kaparaja, and Palisand can do it. So we're going to go Noivern lead, Kaparaja, and Palisand. Because uh, I, if I were them, I would bring Clefable for sure just because I have an Urshifu. That looks like it's just destined for it. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully I can uh, bust through him with this. Uh, Anyway, ideally... We just get a dub. Let's try it. I like their hair. So there's a Quagsire lead. Not a bad lead for me because I can simply drop a Draco. So I found out they have Rocky Helmet. They might have Ice Beam, but uh, Draco's going to do a good chunk. And if they go out to Clefable, I can just U-turn out anyway. And bring out my... Uh, and bring out my Kaparaja. But they opt to stay, which is great because I'm max special attack. And let's assume they're unaware, right? Let's assume they're unaware instead of... Let's assume they're unaware instead of... Oh, they're special defensive, that's for sure. Instead of Water Absorb? I can smack them with this. So Double Draco will knock them out if they are unaware. Ooh, Water Compaction could be pretty cool here with my Palisand. I'll go for Double Draco. They could have Protect, but they can't really touch me otherwise. And again, if they are unaware, then this second Draco will knock them out. If not, we find out that they are Water Absorb. And if they're not, yep, they are unaware. Perfect. Either that or I just crit them. <laughs> so I'm good with uh, Quagsire being gone, considering that wall is my Kaparaja as well as my um, as well as my Palisand. So that's amazing. Uh, and now it really depends on what they have in the back. So great. Maybe they didn't know about their own unaware ability or they expected me to switch considering that was Yawn. But that was a giant threat to the rest of my team. And there's the Diggersby. Hmm. Is it worth me staying in on their SD and just to U-turn? I'm going to try that because they'd max strike probably immediately, right? So I'm going to see if I can, not obviously this turn I can't wake up, but maybe next turn as they go for Swords Dance. And maybe just see if I can uh, break through them a little bit. Um, actually, I'm going to Draco here. I'm obviously minus whatever, right? But if they don't Dynamax immediately, at least I can waste their turns of Dynamax by doing this and I can bring out Palisand after...
obviously this Pokemon is going to be a problem, right? But I do think I had to stay in just to, to try and waste turns. Yeah. So, I didn't wake up. I didn't get a first turn wake there. Is they going to go for Max Airstream to knock me out? Huh. I mean, I definitely go for the... Uh, I definitely Dynamax my Palace in here. I definitely Dynamax Palace in here. Like I said, I'm physically defensive. The problem with me Dynamaxing is, though, I can't Scorching Sand them, but I also probably won't live their attack without it. So, I'll go for Max Quake. Uh, actually, I'm going to Dynamax and Max Guard. And then I'll go for Max Quake from there. Let's see if Palisand can do it. Because this could just be a problem here. So I... I, I love how the poke... I, okay, I love the animation. I didn't even know that's how Palisand worked in this. I, that's so cool. It was just sand that just, I just come up. That's so cool. But yeah, we Max Guard just to waste a turn. As they go for Max Airstream. Which I don't think matters. And I'll go for the Max Quake here. This will be their last turn. They have to Max Airstream again. Why would they not... That did, that did nothing. Why would they not go for like an Earthquake or something? I don't get that. Why would you not go for Max Quake? Do you think my sand is floating? <laughs> it is not. So... The thing is, my next attack is not going to knock them out. I don't think so. It'd, it'd do double that, right? And that was like, what, 30%? So it'd do 60, so that'd be around 90. I would just go for another Max Quake. Maybe they can only go for bounces. Maybe they will bounce here in an attempt to beat me instead of going for Earthquake. Maybe they don't have Earthquake. Who knows? They could be Swords and Agility, Max Airstream, and, and, and the other one. <laughs> Who knows? Are you really no earthquake on Diggersby? Yo, they switched. Okay, hold up, hold up. What? Is it Bronzong as the last? It's Clefable. Woo! Hold up. Hold up, my boy might be able to do it here. Could they really not touch me? There is no way. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but I'm going to shore up first just so I can eat a hit uh, from from Diggersby. As they... What? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think I know what's going on. They might have been choiced. They might have been choiced on Diggersby. So, like, choice SD, that way they could Dynamax and try and win. Whatever, I'm going for a move that can <laughs> that can burn them. Yeah, they might have been choice. They are, they're choice ban. Alright, let's get this 30% chance, baby. This is my first time using it in-game. Let's get that 30% chance, baby. There we go. There we go. So they were choice ban with Swords Dance in an attempt to, to sweep uh, quickly. Now let's go ahead and shore, uh, shore up if possible. If we even live this, that is. This is still strong. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this might still kill Kaparaja, too. That's crazy. Even with the burn, I'm probably going to uh, still lose. This is going to do a lot. But if they only have Moon... If I live this, let's say if I live this with 40 HP, and they only have Moonblast on Clefable, then I knock them out with Iron Head. This is assuming I live this, because, I mean, that was a max defense Palisand, which still couldn't take it after the burn. So they were choiced. Bro, this killed with a burn. <laughs> does, does burn not lower attack for Diggersby? My gosh. Okay, so I mean, we tried. We tried right there. We tried. Holy, wow. So like I said, they were banded. Uh, that still doesn't explain why they didn't max Quake the... Uh, that still doesn't explain why they didn't max Quake. Don't give me a protein for that. They have to be banned. That's the only way you do that much. Life Orb, obviously. Yep, Swords Dance Choice Ban. Hammer. Wow. Hammer Arm. This had Fire Blast anyway. 
Rocky helmet, unaware, obviously. What the hell? Did y'all see that bronze on? All right, we'll pause until we find another battle, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, got interrupted. But uh, anyway, Copper Raja looks incredible here, and so does uh, Palisand. Palisand looks just fantastic. Uh, I think I'm leaning towards the same the same ones. Uh, Noivern allows me to deal with um, Rillaboom, whereas Palisand and Copperage in the back kind of deal with the majority of the team. So we're not even bringing the... Because yeah, Palisand can deal with Magnezone, can deal with Tox Effects, can deal with Cinderace. Copperage can help me deal with Togekiss as well. And Noivern as a lead lets me not lose to Rillaboom immediately. And if they lead off with, uh, if they lead off with Magnet, uh, Magnezone, I might just U-turn out with Noivern just to break their sturdy, because they could be sturdy specs with Thunderbolt and go from there. Um, I want to bring everything on this team. <laughs> Yo, I just want to use everything. I, I love the mons I'm seeing, though. That guy has some crazy mons. Our Shifu was alright in this game too. I definitely think Togekiss is coming. Yeah, there's the Rillaboom lead. Perfect. So I don't think it makes sense for them to want to stay in on my Noivern. So I'm just going to U-turn here. As they have a Focus Sash. Okay. So now they might they might stay on, on, on Noivern because they have a Focus Sash. So I'm just going to go for a safe Flamethrower. Grass Terrain is pretty cool because I can go for my Steel Roller on uh, Togekiss. Um... With my Copperaja. But yeah, we're just going to Flamethrower. It hits basically everything. We know they have a Focus Sash, so maybe I can go for uh, Stealth Rock on that as they end up bringing out their... As they end up bringing out their Togekiss. Now, if I know anything about Togekiss, it's the fact that this Mon is going to go for uh, a Nasty Ply here. I'm just going to U-turn. Uh, it might just end up going right for the Max move. Now I could steel roll if I U-turned immediately into Copper Raja, I could have just clicked Steel Roller, but yeah, going hard Copper Raja makes the most sense. I don't know if this thing kills Toekis is a problem. But this does prevent them from going for max air screamers. They go for Thunder Wave. So this is good too because I can actually steel roller immediately. They didn't nasty plot up. I don't mind being slower. I was slower than their team anyway. And we'll go right for Steel Roller. Uh, this is gonna crush the terrain, and this is also gonna crush Toekis. And I also get to say I use Steel Roller Copper Raja, so I'm happy. Yeah, buddy. And I crushed their terrain. Oh, my boy Dawn Fan out here. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and give me that Togekiss. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. So that goes down. I know they have Rillaboom and they have whatever in the back. It doesn't really matter, though. Uh, Rillaboom comes out. I just go hard Noivern. They bring out Rillaboom. Like I said, I go hard, Noivern. Yo, I got I got to Steel Roller, man. That's so fun. Should I even do that? Should I just Steel Roller and crush the terrain? Why not? Shoot. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna bring Noivern right in on a Dynamax. I don't know if Max Knuckle is a guaranteed KO, but I can crush the terrain, which is cool. And then Palisan is very good versus the majority of their team. Yeah, they're Gigantamax. They don't do that much to Neuvern though, and I have a Rocky Helmet as well. This is a guarantee KO for Max Knuckle. Oh, they go for Max Darkness. Which is probably going to kill me anyway, right? Ooh, my boy lives, and I can get rid of their terrain. Come on, buddy, still roll that. Yo, Dawn fan it up right now, bro. Copperage, Yacht, and the Elephant family. Let's go. Hey, we got rid of the terrain, baby. That is what I like to see. That is exactly what I like to see. Just go for higher net here. So we break the terrain, which is really cool. Um, if they have center is in the back, Palisand deals with it. They go for another max darkness, so they're not even going for boost, which is nice. Now, what I think I do is I go Noivern, I max Guard, and then I, I Draco because it hits everything since Togekiss is gone instead of Flamethrowering. Because uh, I, I, well, I, I, I max Dragon Move. And <laughs> yeah. That should KO you because we know your Focus Sash. Well, it was Focus Sash after all. 
Down to Max. Max Guard here. And, uh... Yeah, we go from there. Yo, I'm so happy I got to crush somebody's... I was gonna say roller, but no, it's there. I got to crush some terrain with Steel Roller Caparaja. That's so cool to me. That really is so cool. Yeah, I, I'm just Max Garden just to make sure. Because Neuvern can beat a lot of their team by itself. They had Max Strike. I don't know if that was fake out or something. All I remember is this Mon could crush everything. So this should knock out Rillaboom for sure. And Rillaboom was the only thing that really stopped Palisand. And then I have one more turn versus something like... If it's, if it's Cinderace, I Scorching Sand it. If it's Cinderace, I... Oh boy, it's Snorlax. Okay. <laughs> A problem. A definite problem. I can Scorching Sand Snorlax though and probably beat it 1v1 via Palisand. Especially because I have Cobra Berry, so... If I burn it, they can't really do much. And then I go for... They also... This could be Bandit too. Like, this doesn't have to be... Or it could even be Yawn, two attacks. It doesn't have to be anything else. And either way, they get minus one attack here, too, so. Uh, that, that looks Assault Vest. That definitely looks Assault Vest. Could be wrong, though. As they go for Yawn, uh, that's fine. I'll attempt to burn them. It could be Yawn Toxic, I guess, too, but I, I think they're usually Yawn Protect. Which is max special defense. I'm just going to hard switch into Palisand and attempt to, uh, to beat them with Scorching Sand Burn. And between my Rocky Helmet and this, I, I hope that's enough to deal with it. Because if it's Yawn Protect, uh, Body Slam, and then what, maybe Crunch? Could be. It's Heavy Slam. That's not going to do anything to Palisand. Dude, I am a pile of sand. You think I'm heavy? Little kids pick me up on a beach and make sand castles. Don't mess with me. Alright, let's see if we can burn them here. 30%. Just so we can negate their leftovers recovery. Hey, Palisand coming through. But the real MVP was Young Copper Raja, man. Steel Roller in twice. And living a max move too. Bro, it got destroyed by Diggersby though. So we got some redemption in this one, which is nice. But uh, yeah. I uh, will be right back, guys. Another game. I almost forgot to turn on my recording. I was responding to Blunder. But uh, okay. Love Palisand in this. Uh, it deals with Excadrill. deals with... The Paddon, deal with the Cinderace, can deal with Mimikyu. Um, no Psychic Immunity, so I'm a big fan of my... Hmm. Big fan of Ndidi here, honestly. It just clicks buttons. I think Expanding Force early is really nice, too, with this in the back. So we'll try that. I'm just trying to think what's the best way of dealing with Gyarados, and I do think it's Scarf Gardevoir. Okay, we'll do this way. We'll see if this will be enough, because I'm really depending on Palisand with this one, but I do think that Ndidi can break. I'm, I'm trying, and maybe Scorching Sand. Maybe Scorching Sand can do it. Okay, so there's the paddle lead that I thought they'd have. Perfect. And let's just go for an attack. That's it. Hippo should, in theory, lose. I'm getting expanding force into mystical fire. Uh, I mean, I, this is, I don't know if this is phys uh, physically defensive or not. I know they didn't have a dark type in the team. I know Excadrill does resist, obviously. I'm not dumb. But let's see how much Expanding Force does. Woo! That is some damage, my friend. Hey, that's a 2 a KO either way. That is a 2 a KO either way. If they get up rocks, that's so good for me. As they go for Yawn. Now, I can Dynamax and Dazzling Gleam here in an attempt to... In an attempt to ensure that I don't get put to sleep. And then I can max Starfall after. I mean, I can max Flare after. 
Because I'm assuming they might try and go for protect here. So I'll max Starfall that way I don't get put to sleep. And then I'll go right for the um, Mystical Fire and go from there. But is that just putting too much on me? I'm not sure if that's putting too much on a D. Maybe I should have saved this Dynamax for Palisand. I don't want to be put to sleep and I didn't want to switch though. And they can't hit me with Fissure if they have it either. So max Starfall that way I can't be put to sleep. Oh, the problem is I'm probably going to knock them out with this, right? Oh, I didn't. Perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So I can't be put to sleep. I'm wasting sand turns too, which is great. As they go for Stealth Rock. That's awesome. And we'll go for Max Flare in an attempt to... Uh... Do I Max Flare? I think I Max Mindstorm again. That way Gyarados can't come out for free. Yeah, I think I max Mindstorm again. Uh, that way Gyarados can't come out. I obviously Excadrill is a problem here. But I can trace it again as well. And I have Gardevoir with Expanding Force and Mystical Fire too. So Yawn. How many turns of Santa there? There are two turns left of Santa, if I'm not mistaken. And this is good because Excadrill will be faster than me. And that means I don't have to hit it and get a weakness policy. Activated. Like, I'll activate it after. All right, Gyarados comes out. I believe I max guard here and then go for expanding force, which I think is stronger than my uh, than any attack I can go for from there. I also want to make sure that I die to Gyarados and I want to waste a turn of their attacks too. Because they're going to Dynamax as well, yep. So I want to waste a turn of their Dynamax. They shouldn't be faster after, and DD is definitely faster. And then I have, I get to hit them with a max power expanding force. And then it comes down to if they're jolly or adamant, because I've seen a lot of adamant Gyarados. I've seen a lot of bulkier Gyaradoses too. Uh, and if that's the case, then Gardevoir does outspeed them. Oh, as they opt to max guard too. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. That didn't really do anything for me. Well, expanding force here because it's my strongest uh, attack. I'm assuming this is going to do around 50%. Yep, that does so much damage. I should die to any attack they go for. Exactly. And then I go Gardevoir, ideally outspeeding them. I also trace their Intimidate, which is cool. Now, I could technically go for Expanding Force of Gardevoir over Thunderbolt. Because Gardevoir is stronger than Ndidi. And Expanding Force is a better move to be locked into. I think I'm just going to do that. I'm going to Expanding Force. It's a better move to be locked into. Again, they could just outspeed me here if they're jolly and, and win, but... I know a lot of Gyarados run bulkier, especially because of Cinderace running around. Yep. So we'll go right for the Expanding Force and Terrain. Knock out the Cinderace. I mean, excuse me, the uh, Gyarados. Wow, I can't even see anything. Uh, and then because of this... Depending on what they have in the back. If it's Extra Drill, it doesn't matter. If it's Rotom, it doesn't matter. It is Rotom. I recognize those three characters anywhere. I'm going to go right for an Expanding Force on you. I'd recognize those three characters anywhere. Woo! And we almost won. Is this Specs? Doesn't matter. Let's get it. We won. We won, folks. Let's go. I love how we got to show off three ways of this team. We got to show off Scorching Sands, even though it didn't help us. We got to show off the Steel Roller, and now we got to show off the Psychic Terrain with the Expanding Force. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, let's see what they have. I was Choice Scarf Modest wrote them as well. See, this is why you run Plus Speed Natures. That's why you run Plus Speed. All Plus Speed Natures would have won my opponent that game. Gyarados would have won. Uh, what's it called else? 
and Rotom would have won at the end by clicking Hydro Pump. But either way, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, you help on my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.